of you wondering, like, what's the purpose of all this? Why are you showing me the history? How does that affect us now? I'm telling you, it affects you right now today, DeAndre. Because what we're going over is that because we did not keep God's laws, he put us in the position that we're in right now. He put you in the position that you're in right now where you got to cut these people grass. Where you got to go out there and hustle to try to make your living, right? You know what I'm saying? So all of us, have, we all got to hustle and try to make a living. With this COVID-19, a lot of our brothers are out of work. A lot of our brothers are depending on the government for, a, a, what's it called, a stimulus check, right? That's making us more oppressed because now we owe more to them. So we got to understand that this Bible is a true book. Everything that's going on right now is because God says so. Give me 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 47. I'm going to show you why your nationality matters, why it affects you, okay? Because you out here on, the, on what, what is the Sabbath day. You out here on the Sabbath day, a day you should be resting, a day you're supposed to be with your brothers, glorifying the Most High God, and you out here working, bro. Why don't you know that? You was never taught that. You was never taught not to work on the Sabbath day, was you? Check this out, bro. Read. The first, uh, first, first Kings chapter 8, verse 47. Yet. If they shall bethink themselves. So he said, if they shall bethink themselves, meaning remember themselves. That's what the brother was showing you. That's what we showing you, what was going on in slavery. So that you could bethink yourself. Remember that you are Israelite. Right? right? Read. In the land, whether they were carried captives. Well, we carried away captives. Ain't that what the brother was going over? We were sitting here on slave ships. Read. And repent and repent. Now that's the second part that our people need to understand. We got to rethink ourselves, know who we are, which the brother went over, and now we got to repent. We got to change. So that's the hardest thing for blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to do, is to change. Because we so ingrained with America's philosophies that anytime somebody come and tell you what God said, you're like, I don't know, I don't know. Because you're so ingrained with, America told us it's okay to do this. America told us it's okay to do this. Let me ask you something. Do you eat pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster? Yeah, I eat pork. You eat pork? Right? Did you know that God said you're not supposed to eat those things? Let me show you real quick. Let me show you. See, now you in your mind, you're thinking like, man, what you, what you talking about? It's just pork, right? But don't you understand that that's the most uh, defiled animal on the planet? Well, you are literally eating trash. That is a, a, a living trash compactor. That's what its job is to do. But they sell it to us like in Price Shopper. They sell it to us. It's the cheapest meat in there, ain't it? The cheapest thing you can get. So who are they catering that to? They catering that to the poor people. Who the poor people? The blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. They say, hey, this is the cheapest meat you can get. Come get it by the, by the dozen. Eat it, eat it everywhere you go. Bacon sandwich at McDonald's. Bacon sandwich at Wendy's. Bacon sandwich everywhere you go. Something simple as our diet is killing us. And we wonder why we got high blood pressure. We wonder why we got uh, heart disease. Gout. We wonder why we got gout. All these things from the way that we eat. Because we've never been taught the words of God. Read that again. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven footed, he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. So DeAndre, it's right there in the Bible. You believe in the Bible? He told you you shouldn't eat it. So let me ask you a question. You going to stop eating it? You say eventually. I mean, eventually we can't. We can't do eventually. Give me Psalms uh, 140, 119 verse 40, uh, 59. Give me that. We can't do things eventually because we don't know when God is coming back. We don't know when Christ is gonna call your number. We don't know when this mercy is gonna be up. So we got to start repenting as soon as we can. Right. You, you got to look at that pork like, man, bro, this is a disgusting animal. Look at what I'm putting in my body. I'm putting a disgusting animal in my body. Right. God said I can eat chicken. He said I can eat beef. He said I can eat lamb. But this is disgusting. Until we look at it like that, we ain't never going to change. A lot of our people here, Leviticus 11, they say, oh, well. How many, how many uh, church cookouts you been to where they serving, where they serving pork chops, where they serving catfish? Catfish we ain't supposed to be eating. It don't have fins or scales. But yet that's a delicacy in our hood. We think that shrimp is, is like a delicacy. 
You think you're doing something big when you're eating crab and shrimp. When you're eating lobster. When those things are the dirtiest things on the planet. That's right. That's right. They whole job is to clean. They're not to be eaten. That's why our ponds are so dirty. That's why our rivers are so dirty. That's why our oceans are so dirty. Because we've taken out the cleaning instruments from it. Take it out, huh? It all is affecting us, bro. The whole world is affected by what we do. We the guys of this earth. So when we move, the earth moves. You got to understand that. So if we ain't right, the earth ain't right. It all is affected by you. So you can't sit there and say, oh, I'm going I'm to try to wean myself off of it. Right? Pork is something you could just be like, hey, let's get rid of it today. Go home, pork chops in the refrigerator, throw them away. You can do that, bro. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 119. And the reason why I say that you can do that is because this is King David. This is King David, a black man. A man who killed a, a giant at 12 years old. This is a man who been through many things, just like yourself. I know you've been through a lot on these streets. We all have. Right? So this is the same black man as you, been through a lot of things. This is what he said. Read. Psalms chapter 119, verse 59. I thought on my ways and turned my feet unto thy testimonies. He said, I thought on my ways. I've been thinking. He's like, man, you, you, you making a good point. Pork is bad. It is defiled. It is an unclean animal. You thinking on your ways. Then you went to the testimony. He judgeth among the gods. He judgeth among the gods. Right? I want you to remember that. Read. How long will ye judge unjustly? He said, how long will you judge unjustly? Meaning, how long are you going to do the things that are against God? How long are you going to continue to say, hey, eating pork is cool. Eating crab is cool. Eating lobster is cool. Breaking the Sabbath is cool. Read. And accept the persons of the wicked. They know not. Neither will they understand. Right? So he's saying we don't, we don't know. We don't understand. That's why we out here today. The Spirit came on these brothers to repent, change their mindset. And now we out here trying to teach our brothers to repent and change their mindset so we can continue to grow. We need to grow from how many is it of us out here? 15, 16 that's out here now? We need to grow to 20, 25. Then from 25 to 50. Then from 50 to 150. That's how we're going to move things. This is how we're going to change things. Then we can go to them and say, no, nah, we don't want this in our neighborhood. You got to understand that. We only going to move if we move together. Read. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. It says all the foundations of the earth are out of course. It said, we walk in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. That means nothing is moving the way it's supposed to on the earth. Right? I have said, ye are God. He said, I say, you are gods. Ye are gods. Now remember, he said, he judgeth and he standeth in the multitude of the mighty. He said, he judges the I have said, ye are gods, but ye shall die like men. That's why we dying. We dying like men because we dying in sin. We dying because we want to sell weed. We dying because we jealous of other uh, other brothers. We dying because of COVID-19. We dying because of uh, STDs. We dying because of all these different things going on in our neighborhood, right? And that's all you see on the, on the news. This brother dead, this brother shot down, this brother this. But you got to ask yourself, what you going to do to change it? You want to change it, right? You like living, you like, uh, you like things going on in the hood? You like abortions in the hood? You like drugs and, and crack dealing going on in the hood? People shooting each other in the hood? You like drunkenness in the hood? You like seeing fiends walking up and down the street in the hood? You like looking over your shoulder in the hood? Wondering if somebody going to rob you in the hood? This is what you like? Is that what you like? Do you want to change it? Now is the time to change. We giving you the solutions on how to change the community. Right. A lot of our older brothers, they'll sit back and, look, and, and they'll be like, well, that's them now. Nah, it's all of us now. Right? Because a lot of us been indoctrinated with Christianity thinking that God loves everybody. God don't love everybody, DeAndre. That's, right. that's a crazy statement for me to make, right? I know everybody listening on the sound of my voice like, what? He crazy. God love everybody. Christ came to die for everybody. Christ didn't come for everybody, DeAndre. Let me show you in the Bible. Did you know that? You didn't know that. You think that God loved everybody, right? 
God loved Trayvon Martin and he loved George Zimmerman, right? He loved both of them, right? Nah, he using George Zimmerman and his people to account justice to you. To get you to wake up your eyes to see who you are. He only deal with our people. Let me prove it in the Bible. Because I know you ain't heard nothing like this. This is a message to you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites. Give me Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. I want, you to, I want you to understand something. What we teaching you right now is greater than gold, greater than rubies, greater than any amount of money that you could get because it's talking about an everlasting salvation. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. What did that say, DeAndre? We had to obey God rather than men. What are you telling so you? Ain't no more pork. Don't eat that no more. Don't eat no more shrimp, crab, lobster, catfish. If it ain't got fins and scales on it, don't eat it. If it don't chew the cud, don't eat it. Right? That's what God is telling you right now. He telling you to your face right now. He ain't going to come down in a beam of light or a burning bush like he did with Moses with you. He ain't going to do that. He going to come through the prophets and tell you what you're supposed to be doing. And you got to believe, bro. Just like all the brothers and sisters that's out here right now got to believe. Go back to Acts 5.29. Or 5.30. Read verse 30. Check this out, Andre. I said something heavy. I said that God ain't dealing with nobody but the Israelites. Let me show you something. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 30. The God of our fathers. It said the God of our fathers. Read. Raised up Jesus, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Talking, to, talking about the Pharisees, how they hung and slew him on a tree. Read. Him have God exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel. To give repentance to who, DeAndre? Israel. Did that say everybody? It didn't say everybody, did it? Why well, say Israel? Go back to Psalms chapter 147. Go back to Psalms chapter 147. We're going to have some understanding of this Bible. Because I know preachers ain't teaching us right. right. I know they ain't telling us the right things. They misconstruing the Bible. Why are they misconstruing the Bible? Because that's what they learn. Where they learn it from? They oppressors. I want you to look at this sign right here. They used to do this right here in church. They used to have a white man overseeing a black preacher. You ever seen that movie Birth of a Nation? The Nat Turner story? It's a good movie to watch. What he would do is, is he would take his slave, Nat Turner, the white man, would take his slave, Nat Turner, to plantation to plantation reading the Bible. And he said, you can only read this certain thing. You can only read these certain things. Until Nat Turner start waking up for himself and say, hey, every, every, everything they do saying that we should be good slaves, there's one condemning them for doing this. So he said, I got to look at this Bible with new eyes and new ears. And that's what you got to do, DeAndre. You got to, at this moment, you got to open your eyes. You got to open your eyes and say, hey, I'm out here hustling on the Sabbath. I'm out here working on the Sabbath. I'm not supposed to be. I'm out here doing things that are contrary to God's words. Let me actually sit down and find out what God want from me. Because if I was to ask you that, what would you say? What does God want from you? I guess you want him to be right. Okay, well, let me ask you this question. What is sin, DeAndre? Sin. Yeah, what's sin? You ain't listen to him. You ain't obedient. Disobeying his word. Let's get the definition. John, 1 John 3 and 4. Because we out here to educate our people. We not out here just with a mic trying to show off. We ain't out here for that. We out here for you. We out here for brothers that want to repent. We out here to change our community. We out here to change the mindset of our people. We out of here to say, hey, leave the drugs alone. Leave the alcohol alone. Read. First John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. So why they ain't teaching this in church? He said, for whoever sin transgresses the law. Read. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is the transgression of the law. So we read a law in Leviticus 11 that says you're not supposed to eat pork. Right. Now I know you're wondering why do I keep going back to that. Because that's simple, something simple that our people can relate to. Let's start there. Let's start by changing our diet. That's something that all of us could do. 
We can change our diet. We cannot eat shrimp, pork, crab, lobster. Then we can start working on other things like loving our brothers. Then we can work on other things like hatred. Then we can work on other things like lust. Right? But we got to start somewhere. Right? Maybe this is where it's easier for you to start. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.